here's a reliable way to make any torque wrench perfectly accurate. Today I'll use this technique to test out a new wrench right out of the box and dial it in if needed, because there's nothing worse than over torquing a bolt. To do this, all you need is one of those old weights that if you're like me, you'll definitely get around to using one day. Try to use one that weighs somewhere around the middle of the wrench's torque range. Clamp the wrench in a vise with the handle parallel to the ground. Because torque is a relationship between leverage and force, we first need to measure the length of the wrench from the center of the square drive to any point on the handle. I'm going to use this roll pin as a marker, which is 13 and a half inches from the pivot point, and this will account for the leverage. Multiply that by the weight that you're using, and that'll give you what to set the torque wrench to in inch pounds. I'll divide that by 12 to convert it to foot pounds, just because that's what this wrench reads in. Set the wrench to this number and then slowly hang the weight from the marked point on the handle and the wrench shouldn't click until you let go of the weight entirely. This wrench tested perfectly, but I'll show you what to do when yours doesn't. If your wrench has an adjustment screw on the side, you can recalibrate it by turning the screw until the click happens at the right time. If you have a non-adjustable wrench like this one, you can still calibrate it by sliding the weight towards the end of the handle if it didn't click, or if the click was too early, slide the weight towards the square drive until the click happens right when you let go of the weight. Where the weight ends up on the handle is called the transition point. You can measure the distance from the square drive to the transition point and divide your original length by this new length. This puts a number on the inaccuracy of the wrench, and anytime you use it, just multiply the desired torque setting by this number to get the accurate setting for your wrench. Now, no matter what, you can be confident your wrench torques to exactly the right spec. I hope this helps, and ride safe.